Hi, my name is Declan Millett and I am Professor of Orthodontics at University College Cork in Ireland. In this short video, I would like to share with you the results of a systematic review we have recently conducted on treatment and stability of class 2 division 2 malocclusion in children and adolescents. Our inclusion criteria were studies with 20 or more class 2 division 2 subjects where comparisons were made with an untreated or another class 2 division 2 group or neither. The following outcomes were assessed. Skeletal, soft tissue, dental or occlusal changes, gingival health, TMJ status, muscular activity or quality of life. Standard databases including relevant conference abstracts were screened to November 2011 with no language restrictions. For studies ranked best on the hierarchy of evidence, methodological quality and risk of bias assessments were undertaken. Of the 322 studies identified in the search, 20 studies, 12 dealing with treatment and 8 dealing with stability satisfied our inclusion criteria, providing data on 937 subjects. Non-extraction fixed appliance treatment in the late mixed dentition led to a mean forward movement of 4 to 5 mm of B-point compared to controls during an average treatment duration of 2.3 years. Extraction of four first premolars rather than of upper second permanent molars produced more upper lip retraction and premolar extraction spaces opened in 40% of cases post-treatment. With the extraction of upper first premolars, there was a wide variation in nasolabial angle changes. Uprighting of the upper and lower incisors led to an increase in incisor crowding post-retention. Mean overbite relapse was approximately 20% at two years and approximately 40% at 15 years post-retention. The lower lip level on the upper incisors had a significant effect on relapse. The initial overbite was the best predictor of the post-treatment overbite, but predictability was not high. Overbite correction was more stable in late than in early adolescence. Molar correction was found consistently to be very stable. All studies were deemed to be at high risk of bias. Due to their heterogeneity, meta-analysis was not possible. Guidelines for clinical practice and future research are proposed. Those for clinical practice are treat in a timely manner to address the overbite, treat preferably non-extraction, correct the interincisal angle and move the upper incisors away from the lower lip, retain long term using an upper removable appliance with flat anterior bite plane, with or without a bonded retainer to the upper labial segment. The four conclusions which we can draw from this review are firstly, highly biased prospective evidence exists with regard to the effect of late mixed dentition non-extraction treatment on facial growth. Secondly, evidence of similar strength indicates that non-extraction treatment appears favoured. Thirdly, overbite correction is reasonably stable in the short term and molar correction is very stable. Finally, further international multi-centre collaborative studies are required to provide stronger evidence regarding management of this condition. Before I finish, I would like to thank my co-authors, those who assisted with literature searches, the authors who responded to queries, and especially those who provided data from their studies. Thank you for watching this short video.